Hey everybody, welcome to Cover Creations. My name's Gareth, this is my little corner of the internet for playing my food. Today I'm going to cook for you a really nice kind of midweek meal, you know, something that's pretty, pretty easy to do, takes a little bit of time, but there's not a lot of effort. So this is my soy glazed chicken. Now I'm not 100% happy with that as a description of it. It's kind of a bit of a teriyaki meat sweet and sour thing. There's a lot more going on there. So if you can come up with any better ideas for what to call it, please let me know. But we're going to stick with soy glazed chicken for now. So we'll get cracking. Nice and easy this one. So the first thing you're going to want, two cloves of garlic. We're just going to mince those up as small as we can. So if you've got yourself one of those little garlic press things, absolutely perfect for this. So there we go. Now you just want to grab that, stick it in whatever you're going to marinate your chicken in. So just got myself a little, little tub here. Pop your garlic in. And then you can turn your attention to the ginger. So I'm going to use about, you'd call it about half an inch of ginger. Uh, if you're using fresh, I always use these little kind of lazy ones, they call it, where it's just kind of pre kind of battened in a little bit of vinegar. And I just think these work great because like I said before, you know, you get your ginger, you make one meal with it, sits in the fridge and it just starts to kind of go all manky and you've wasted half of it. So I kind of like to do this. So just grab yourself about half an inch's worth and again just chop that really really fine and whack it in there with your garlic. There we go, just pop that in, all like so. And now for the kind of wet ingredients. So here I'm going to use some dark soy. You just want two tablespoons of this one. And this is where you start to see that kind of teriyaki flavours coming in. So there we go. One. Two. And then I'm going to use some, and this is Shaoxing rice wine. The mirin would do the same. Yeah, just kind of nice rice wine. I'm going to pop in two tablespoons of that. Perfect. Then toasted sesame oil. So this one we're going to flip down to teaspoons for because it's just that a little bit stronger. Put too much of this in, you won't taste anything else. So that's my two teaspoons in there. Get those out of the way. Now I need to grab myself some extra tablespoons because they're all soaking wet. Fresh ones. Get those out of the way. Right, spices and sugars. So you're gonna want a bit of sugar in here just to kind of lighten it up. You're not gonna need too much because we have a little secret ingredient that we're gonna use a little bit later which is going to add quite a lot of sweetness to this. So, tablespoon kind of soft brown sugar be perfect. There we go, a tablespoon of that in. Now, spice. So, we're going to do the obvious, a little bit of Chinese fire spice. I'm just going to use half a teaspoon here, quite strong stuff. There's plenty of flavour in that soy and mirin or rice wine. So you want half of that, half a teaspoon of five spice. Bit of a weird one here. I'm going to jump over to Spain and use some smoked paprika. I'm going to do the same, half a teaspoon. It doesn't sound like it would work. Trust me, it does. It just adds this kind of like slightly smoky element to it. A little bit of warmth. Really, really good with this. So, you can go the same, half a teaspoon, like so. And now some crushed chilies. So, kind of like little diced up bits of dry chilli. Now, this one's up to you, obviously. If you like it hot, put a bit more in. If you like it cool, you can leave this one out entirely. That smoked paprika will actually add a bit of heat to it. But I like just a little bit of spice with this one. So maybe we put in about a quarter a teaspoon of dry chilli. He says, as he adds a little bit more. And that is that. So now, I'm just going to mix it up. 
get all those flavours mingled. Okay, that's done. You can just sit that to the side for now. And grab yourself some chicken thighs. So I'm using boneless chicken thighs just from the supermarket. Always best when you're using these I find to give them a bit of a check. Yeah, you can pull off any kind of little added bits of fat that you don't want on there. And often I find there's a little bit of kind of bone stuck in it, you know, where they haven't quite cut it properly. But that one's pretty good. So we're just going to put these straight whole into our marinade. Okay, they're all good. So now just give them a good old mix around. So here we go. Just make sure they're all covered and then kind of flatten them down a bit so you get that marinade all around the chicken. Perfect. So that's all mixed in. We can just cover this now. We're going to leave that to marinade in the fridge for at least an hour. And you can do it for yeah, three, four hours if you want. I mean, one of the great things about this meal, especially in our current circumstances where quite a few people will be working from home, plot that together in your lunch break, whack it in the fridge, all ready to be cooked when you finish work. So I'm going to go and do that. I'm going to catch you in a couple of hours. Cheers. Now, nice and simple. We've had about an hour and a half marinating there. Now it's time to put it all together. Pretty quick meal to make, really. So you've got your chicken thighs all marinated. Just hot pan. Whack them in. Okay, now they're going. We're just going to cook those, pan fry them for about 12 to 15 minutes. We'll come back to you when they're done. That's good. Okay, so they've had their time now, and they're all cooked through. Easy way to check. I mean, I use a little meat thermometer, but otherwise, we're going to chop them up anyway. So you just take them out, cut a little bit off. If it looks cooked, you're good. So we just load these onto a board, and we can put these to one side. Now, you're going to look at your pan and there's going to be lots of kind of charred soy and all that kind of caramelized stuff on there. A bit too much in some ways because some of it's going to be slightly burnt. So what we're going to do is we're just going to grab some water and deglaze that pan with the water when it's hot. Pour off all of those kind of crispy bits and then we can put the sauce together. So we have all the crunchy burnt bits gone. Still a bit of flavour there in the bottom. We just turn that on. Grab your marinade, pour it in, get as much of that out as possible. All great flavour. And then our little secret ingredient, tomato ketchup. Now, bizarrely, it is actually used quite a lot in quite a few Chinese recipes. It just goes so well with this because that sauce at the moment has got that kind of teriyaki flavour. And I find sometimes that's a little bit too, I want to say adult, <laughs> but that doesn't really make sense. It's just, it's really kind of strong. And actually adding something like this really helps to tone it down, create a kind of much more sweeter sauce. So probably one adults and kids will love. So to this, we're just going to put in four tablespoons of tomato ketchup. Now, if you're using a squeezy bottle, it's much easier, but I'm going to have to kind of freehand it with one of these. That's probably one, that's probably two and a bit, that's probably four. And then just going to stir that in to that marinade. It will pick up all of those flavours and you'll just get oh, such a beautiful sauce from it. Okay, so what that's doing, you just want to leave that to kind of heat through. So you're going to bubble it for about a minute or two. If it's looking a little bit thick, say just a little bit of water in, a tablespoon or so, and just give it a stir around so you've got a nice kind of, kind of pouring sauce. That's perfect. Okay, so just going to let that go while we chop up that chicken. Okay, so nice and simple, just slice that chicken and the little strips. You've got that kind of lovely crust to it, that darker kind of soy edge. Really beautiful. 
Okay, so now we can just start putting it all together. Just grab a bit of rice. It's a good amount. Wipe that in my bowl. Lovely. And we'll just layer that chicken on top. Just got some like wilted spinach, which I've just done with a little bit of sesame seeds. And just lay some of this in on the side, like so, and then grab your sauce. So that's lovely and thick, and we can just dribble that sauce over the top. So there we have it, my soy glazed chicken, absolutely beautiful little meal, really quick and simple to do, a little bit of marinating time, a little bit of effort with that, but otherwise it's so, so easy. So I'm off to grab myself some chopsticks and have a go at this one. So I hope you give it a go, I hope you enjoy it, and I'll catch you next time. Cheers.